Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today we'll be retouching this image that you see on my screen today. Let's go to the settings real quick. This image was taken with the Sony a7 III, I was shooting at 1.8, it's the 50mm FE Sony lens, it's a 1.8 lens and my shutter speed was 1 over 18 of a second and my ISO was 125th. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to crop the image. So I'm going to go to this section right here and I'm going to choose 4 to 5 ratio. So when I crop the image, it will fill the entire um, page on Instagram. So I'm just pulling down the image right here to see what works best for me. So that looks good. I'm going to press enter now because I'm okay with that. Alright, so the next step is to uh, create a new layer um, so I can do some color grading. So I'm going to come right here to filter and then go to the um, camera raw option and I'm just going to make some adjustments to the color. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to press auto as usual so I can have something to work from. Alright, that should be good. I'm going to go to the HSL option. I'm going to make some adjustments now to the colors and that looks good. I'm going to play with this a little bit. Alright, let me go. I'm going to go over to um, uh, collaboration and make some adjustments here as well. I found that you know this option works really great with the skin and also with the background so let's look at the before and after for both of them while I'm making the adjustment so you have a better idea as to what it looks like and that looks good so all I'm doing is just play with the primary colors right there so I'm gonna go back over to the um, basic option and I think I'm okay with what's happening here. So I'm gonna make a little adjustment right here and see what it looks like. That looks good. Alright, that looks okay. I like looking at the before and after. I'm gonna go to um, split tone now and see what that looks like as well. So split tone works really awesome. You can take a look at that um, as well. Alright, just gonna play with the greens. I'm just playing with the colors actually to see what works best for me. So this works okay. I'm gonna just adjust this a little bit. I think I should be okay with this now. Okay, press okay. Alright, so the next step now is to basically clean up the image. So I'm gonna come here to the uh, frequency separation and I'm going to um, work on the model skin. It's taking a little while to load. I'm gonna build a new computer, I can't wait. Have you guys seen the behind the scenes for this shoot? You should take a look at it. It's on my page under the behind the scenes um, drop down section, so you should take a look at that. Um, every time Photoshop upgrades the system, their Photoshop, it always takes a long time to do certain things, but as I said before, I'm building a new computer, so pretty soon it will not have this issue, hopefully. So let's see how that goes. It's loading, it's loading. And yes, guys, you should watch the behind the scene for this photo shoot. It's also on my Instagram page if you've missed it as well. All right, so it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Okay. Hmm. I was thinking about um, speeding up this part, but now. Nah. Just gonna leave it as is because most of us may have this problem with our computer i think maybe something is wrong with my computer other than the program just running slow but i haven't figured it out yet okay finally so what i get to understand that is that if you change the radius to about for example like 20 or any of those high numbers for the radius what will happen is that the image will not look you will have the image will look more um what do you call it um uh natural and if you if you put it like 6.4 or anything like that what will happen is that the image itself will be um more unrealistic basically but yeah so i'm gonna go down to the low frequency layer and i'm just gonna make some um, adjustment here i'm just gonna go to the brush and i'm going to remember your your mixer brush is under brushes so you can go there and the settings are on the screen so you can follow that as well so all i'm doing is blending the skin right now so the image will look um i'm not applying too much at each section of the face because i don't want it to look fake so i'm just applying a little bit at each section of the face so 
when you're doing that just try to ensure that you do not apply too much at one place because the face will look um, like a plastic <laughs> and you don't want it to look like that so you want to avoid that so I'm doing the nose um, the side of the nose the forehead I'm actually all over the image basically and I'm just trying to get everything in one so I'm gonna do the neck here and the middle right here as well all right I'm gonna do the shoulders now well the shoulder Let's see what that's look that looks like this shoot was a really fun shoot though I think you guys should really watch the behind the scenes all right I'm gonna put it in the description and also in the card so you guys can see it. so I'm gonna move this um, use the patch tool and move the mark from the mother's head I think she wrapped her head so it leaves the mark there so just gonna use the patch tool and remove that it's pretty easy just make a selection and just drag I'm also removing the pimples from the skin by using the patch tool. The patch tool works great. The stamp tool works great as well, but I mean, I love the patch tool more than the stamp tool. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I always use a stamp tool, but no, I'm using the patch tool. So I'm just getting rid of all of the blemishes from the skin and that looks good. So I'm gonna do some more um, adjustments here. Oh, you know what? I think I, oh not working oh I, I need to go on the low layer <laughs> I was on the high layer and I was trying to do something and it's not working so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it again all right so I'm now on the low layer the high layer is just to remove blemishes from the skin so you wouldn't use that to do any um, retouching so I'm gonna do the models um, thigh as well so remember when you're doing the um, the model skin try to stay in the highlighted area and then go over to the shaded area you don't want to stay you don't want to move from one area to the other because it will cause problem so I think I'm okay with what I've done so far um, that looks good so the next step now is to do some dodge and burning I'm gonna start with dodge so dodging is basically working on the bright area of the skin I'm gonna go to the brush and put my flow at 1% because you don't want it to be too much and then I'm just gonna work on the areas that should have highlights so under the eye the nose bridge the chin and the collarbones and you know in the middle section of the thigh or your forehead all those sections should have highlights because that's where the light is hitting i shoot natural light most of the times but the natural light is going to hit on those sections and like for the sides like the jaw and the um side of the tummy and the legs are going to be dark so that's when you're going to be using um, burning so I'm gonna go uh, that's the before and that's the after so you see the highlight so now I'm gonna do um, burn so the burn is basically working on the shaded area so it shapes the legs as you can see here and it shapes the face and also the arm if you want to shape it you use both of them dodge and burn so I think I'm done I'm gonna apply uh, my color lookup on it I'm gonna move the opacity down a little bit more so we can you know have it balanced so that looks good all right so I'm gonna show you the before and after for everything now I'm just gonna put them in a um, what do you call this group so that's the before and after so I hope you guys um, you know learn something from this um, the collaboration option is is what you should use if you want to make some drastic um, changes to your color so what what I'm doing right now is to just play with the um, what do you call this again curves just to put a little you know pump in the um, the color a little bit and the contrast of the image itself but I don't like what it looks like, so I'm just going to delete it. So that's the before and after. Well, we're gonna do a before and after. Let me just um, create a duplicate so you can see the before and after real quick. Uh, put this here. All right. Then we're gonna go to Windows to create the before and after. So this is going to be the after. So let's go to Windows. So that press this good 
so now we have the before and after so i hope you guys um, enjoy that video and if you've learned anything give me a thumbs up share this video and stay tuned for another video thank you guys for watching and have a good one bye bye